<laughs> Obviously, it's really good for the businesses, but you also have kids on scooters, you have people just biking through, people going for walks. It's so good for our sanity, for our health. People eating, drinking, playing games. I mean, it's great for the businesses, but the community really benefits, definitely. We are very, very happy to have the open streets. Uh, it's an opportunity for more people to come and experience the restaurant. We get to have a few more tables outside. This neighborhood's really kid heavy, so I mean, just having the streets and letting them roam free is awesome. My kid loves it. I love coming down for five minutes or hang out for an hour. You hear the music in the background, and it's wonderful. I remember the days. You know, first speed films where this would have been a traffic choked nightmare. Things are going so well in 2020. The restaurants begged us to start on March 13th, just before St. Patrick's Day. And they told us that they were doubling and tripling their revenue on those days. And they went through a long, hard winter. They needed to get back to people coming outside and enjoying themselves and spending money. I think every uh, business owner will agree that this uh, is probably where you make your bottom line extra space outside, the closing of the streets. This is what will help us to survive and grow and be able to, to do much more things than we could have with just, with just the brick and mortar that we have. This year, it's just like got such a better vibe. You know, like shops that weren't open last year are now reopened again. New guys are in the neighborhood, like New Blue down the street. Uh, so, I mean, like it definitely has like a, like a breath of fresh air into the neighborhood. I feel like it's going to be great, especially in the summertime. Saturday and Sunday for three months out of the year is going to be a game changer. We had a conversation uh, with the city. You know, we really, because of what we are doing, being regular every week on the street, um, we needed to have real staff. The bid really is only two full-time staff and a cleaning crew. We flipped uh, the organization from having two people to raising over $50,000, now $55,000. Every neighborhood should get something like this. And it shouldn't take a bid, it shouldn't take a GoFundMe, it shouldn't take privilege to get something like this. It should just be a thing that the city funds and distributes equitably throughout the entire city. Obviously the Business Improvement District has done a phenomenal job coordinating everything. Uh, we need more support from the mayor, from the administration, and from the Department of Transportation as a next step to ensure that this is, a long, this is longevity and really bring equity to the program. We have, um kids drawing with chalk in the street. A lot of kids learning how to ride their bicycles because it's such a safe spot to do that. We are very happy to have open streets. We look forward to having it continue year round and we also want to have it on more days if we could. The other thing that you really notice when you're at an open street is you have cyclists going through and pedestrians walking. When you take the cars out, everybody just kind of gets along. It just works. These kinds of changes are, are just so much more possible today than they were even just a few years ago. And you see it in the whole diversity of the neighborhood, you know, business owners, residents, bicyclists, car owners. I think these, these kinds of ideas are just, are readily accepted now and they're popular. Like the, the city could do more of this and it would be popular.